It's your girl Sharaz Miller. And we I'm Fat here Fool. For the cold ship, throw them poles up. And we got a special guest with us today, dog. Introduce yourself. What's up? Super Producer HQ. HQ. Yeah. CBMG Trigger. Okay, Trigger. Yeah. Okay, Trigger. Okay. 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 Uh, that's a long story. <laughs> that's a long story. Well, this is a long show. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know. It, 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 it's because Trey Song called itself Trigger, and I don't Trigger. know why. Yeah, you right? yeah, but you know, the way my life went, you know, a lot of things you can't say on camera. But okay, word up. You, you know, but I'll just say. Where you from? I'm from Orlando. Okay. Let's just say that's trigger. Trigger. And there's fingers involved in triggers. We ain't gonna talk about trigger fingers. <laughs> okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he he like he eating around is like look, look, trigger. It's trigger. I heard trigger. him say something about Ianville, so if you know about Ianville and triggers, you can put two and two. Straight up. <laughs> we got some real athletes coming to shout the high. Okay, okay, okay. Now Ianville, Ianville precious, you know. It's yeah. the oldest black community ever. Now, is that yeah. true for each other? Yeah. Yeah. I hear that a lot. Because yeah. I always thought Rosewood was. No, no. it was established. They made a movie no, about it's Rosewood. It's it's own, no, yeah. it, was, it was established as its own black town. You know, it had yeah. its own mayor, its own resources. Oh, shit, you know? yeah. Rosewood ain't had none of that shit. A little history. So, because, like, just because I'm from Sanford. So. That's the second. Is that? That's how I know. Yeah. The, biggest, brother, you know, the biggest star who ever came out. I was about to say, Y'all yeah. been, I bet y'all don't know the biggest star who ever came out of Eatonville. Deacon Jones. Deacon Jones? Yes, yeah, Deacon Jones. Oh, that's dead. Look, look, you, you got a star? You know, you know the star? Look, you got a star. Between Eatonville and Sanford, we've been feeding. Oh, you're right. Deacon Jones is a football player. I'm trying to tell you. I thought you were talking about a pastor for real. Nah. To me, the biggest thing that came out of Eatonville is Zora Neale Hurston. Exactly. Yeah. 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 The biggest. That's what I know Eatonville for. This is the blood. All y'all related to her. Yeah. No. That's y'all family. She's yeah. from Alabama originally. Yeah, my, my well, we got no shade on no, that, no, y'all. No, no, you, you, you said all yeah. the blood related, but you know, a lot of people don't understand <laughs> Eatonville and like just, yeah. you know. Hey, hey, you was from Georgia. Georgia. Yeah. You know what, like, see what I'm saying? Because yeah. my people yeah. came from Georgia. Yeah. Oh, no, and my people came from Alabama yeah. to come here. You know what I'm saying? So, right. like, so that don't mean you related to the whole Sanford? Who, me? Yeah. Um, you related to Trayvon people. Cut that out. No, but I know about that. Yeah, you related to them and Big Mike. I think after you've been that, I think nah, after nah. you've been there for a little while, you start to become family. Exactly. I know everybody know everybody. Like I know certain people. I'm like, hmm, I know your family or stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, for me being all in Sanford, people don't even know I'm from Sanford. Right. But just because I'm more low key. But um, like my brother, he was an athlete, so everybody know him from Sanford to back I'm everywhere. Doing that. But it's just like I don't know. It's different when you are raised in a majority black and it has a historical content to it and stuff
I mean, it's, being a producer, engineer. Yeah, it's, it's just in my blood, man. It's like right. I, I eat, sleep, breathe music. You know what I'm saying? I feel like life not whole if I'm not doing I'm music. You know what I'm saying? Do you love it's an expression? Do you love the artist or love the work, the art? I love the art, you know what I'm saying? Because on, on the track, you can be whoever you want to be, you know what I'm saying? Like, people sleep on that. they like, oh, I'm this trap rapper, or I'm this rapper. Like, you stay in a category, you know what I'm saying? When really, music is just how you feel. You know what I'm saying? I make a song how I feel that day. You know what I'm saying? That, that's how I rock. That's real? Yeah. That's real. How about you, Trevor? What, what, what made you want to uh, start rapping? Uh, you know, just the, the inspiration, inspiring from HQ, you know what I'm saying? Also from my. So, y'all knew each other since youngest? Well, I knew him since since yeah. I was a young man. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. You know, but he ain't know you. Yeah, I knew yeah. him. You know, you knew of him. Yeah, he was a wise dude. You know, you know what he said? Wait, pause. I had to really think about this. He said since he was a young man. Well, who? I'm a little. I'm older. Well, when well, he, you look young, boy. <laughs> Pat don't crack. <laughs> He he was more when I was in middle school. He was in high school, but I was like coming out of elementary and middle school watching HQ. Word. You get what I'm saying? And you know, from from being in the house studio to being in a big studio okay. to being in our own studio, and That's um, it. you That's know, gross. just watching him, and also watching my friends too, man. Because I have a, I have a friend, um, Free City Cast. I gotta say that uh, super, cool. That's super cool too, and can't forget about Nate. Um, Bojo. Um, I did all eat But um, you know, just watching Cash and Cash had so much, you know, so much energy and and, and so much music and so much and so much art to art to pit out. And HQ also on them together it was like so great. And I was down for the call, but you know, um like it it just couldn't it they just, stick with you yet. It, yeah, it, yeah. The dudes, man, you know, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a tight dude, you know what I'm saying? It's hard to get in my circle. You know what should you build another check guy? Nah, yeah, you, know, you know what I'm saying? Like, the less yeah. the less people you have around, you know, the It's the HQ way. Yeah. Or yeah, the highway. Not, not, I ain't like not that. Not even like that, but no, it's just, not, you know what I'm saying? It's just comfortability thing. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? You got too it's much like weight, same shit. It's like, uh, the more employees, the more fuck ups. Yeah, exactly. The more friends, the more uh, snakes. And yeah. Yeah. But you gotta want, you gotta, with this music, man, you gotta weed out the people who's serious and who not. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's all, everybody, I wanna get in, I wanna do it. Then once you put it on them, they see how much work it takes, how much money it is. I, they I, I can't do it. I tell them straight, bro. I say, why you wanna rap? Yeah. They be like, oh, this is my love. I feel like, you got the money, exactly. and they be like, "What you mean?" I'm like, "I I do some shit for this rap boy. Yeah. Do you have the money?" Yeah. And they be like, "No, nah, you know, I was thinking you could help me." I be like, "That shit is dead. You'll never make it." Yeah. <laughs> I mean, and they be like, "I'm hating for that." Yeah. I mean, just like they say, it, it'll never be. It'll never. You can never have enough money because it's always stuff that you have to invest in. It's yeah. always something yeah. new. And um, just like I said, like basically with myself. Um, basically, I'm just saying I picked up where somebody left left off. You know, I was all the way down with music. I always had lyrics, but I kind of feel like I surprised HQ yeah. with what I had because you know we were so focused on cash. Yeah, yeah. You know, and HQ. So you know, I'm just I'm just really here. You know, to pick up where it left off and keep down that door and make sure everybody get in because I'm all for my team. I'm not just for myself. Straight up. So, you know what I'm saying? Open me up too. To be like, man, you can't sleep on it. You gotta give people a chance because it was like scratching a rock turning into a diamond. You know what I'm saying? When he first came to you what it was like it was a little snotty no just around the way. I mean no no because he always used to man Q, you know I got this I'm like yeah you, you know at so, yeah I'm like bro right. you know what I'm saying we focusing on such and stuff but I would tell him bro I got you we gonna figure it out. Like I said and once our uh, partner went got locked up right. you know what I'm saying it was I ain't really have no other resort, you know what I'm saying? It's like, boom, oh, what you got? You know what I'm saying? He supported me. Up the he blew me out the water. Up, you know what I'm saying? Shit. Our first song is what got us popping. Yeah. You know, what I'm saying? our first song we did together got us popping. You know what I'm saying? So, so um, elaborate on that. Like, firstly, what's the first song? You know. Let us know, like, how we find it. What we gonna do? Stay in the trap. Yeah, you can find the trap. Yeah, on YouTube. Okay, y'all got video on that joint? Yeah, okay. Is that the one? I saw two videos. Is that the one with the car? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Stay in the trap. Yes, I did. Gotta check that out. Um, so like, I wanna ask you, Trigger, what we like, what we gonna hear from you? Like, it's 2018, it's still the, like, beginning of the year. You in HQ, like, what we gonna hear from you? Like, what we gonna hear from you? 
Get ready, but you know, yeah. we got, um, <clears throat> we got Bank, we got that mixtape posted. That's really pushing hard. That's kind of what got us in the door with the stand, the trap, and the bank song. You know, it got us, it, it puts us forward for people to open up their ears, but the stuff we got coming next mm -hmm. is like on blow their mind. I love it. See, because me being, you know, Southern, I have a soft spot for Southern rap. You know, I just think, I just love the country and slang and greediness and just, just the ignorance of it, <laughs> low key. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's different ignorance level. You know, you have like, I don't know, you have the artists out right now that the Uzi Verse, they have their level of ignorance. Like, but no, I, was no, raised no, off of, I was raised off of Boosie and Flies and Webby, like, yeah, like on some cut, like when um Bone Crusher and you know when Ti first came out when he was I take your cookies Ti, not not yeah. yeah. Hey, coming from you know the what side, saying? what does that mean, y'all? Cause if I come from the feds, you know I'm a fed baby. Yeah. That means you gonna rape somebody. Oh no, man. my gosh. Yeah, like, 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 and we was uh, petrified when we heard that. We was like, I'm gonna take your cookies. Bone Crusher said that. He was like, ugh, he's a little guy too. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? No, 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 no. no it was on the Bone Crusher song. No, when T.I. said, I take your cookies. It was on the Bone Crusher song. Nah, record, he was saying. referring to like, yeah, I'm a love, yeah, like I'm a love nigga. Uh, yeah. don't, don't think I'll take your cookies for jewels, nigga. I'll run up on you, nigga. Yeah, yeah, that's like what we really doing. Remember what I thought it was about? Like, really talking about, really talking about the struggle. Like, we in the kitchen making oodles and noodles. That's what it is on the yeah. rap. You get what I'm yeah. saying? Like, that's all that in hip hop. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. No, I would say northern rap. People are like in this whole. They, they was more in their head, like on some spiritual, more like deep stuff. Versus mm -hmm. down here, they gonna take you in the house. Yeah. Where they really you got we point. in here whipping this. <laughs> <laughs> We so created yeah. wordplay out of no play. Out of no play. Yeah. 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 When y'all created just metaphor, like ass, and all of that exactly. shit. Y'all go in a dictionary, man. Philosophy. I'm a, I'm a rhyme. <laughs> <laughs> philosophy. <laughs> Uh, metal, uh, you got me, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, like, look, this is the South. I love that too, though. I'm a, no, I'm a, I'm a Southern rock. I love it. Remember, DC is yeah. the South. People really get that twisted. DC is the South. I think it's the, it's the, the, the melting, city. yeah. It's still the South, though. Yeah. I came up on the Pastor Troy and shit. Yeah. It's all I saw with him. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Master P. So, I wasn't a New York man at all. Yeah, yeah. But, what did y'all come up with? Man, I... Like my favorite rapper is Jay Jay Z. So Jay -Z? I'm from the South, but really, I Sean love Jay Z. What man, Sean? Sean if that's Jay -Z. your favorite rapper, then we gonna have to argue. I got a question. What? Who was better, Jay Z or Jazz O? I ain't really listen to Jazz O like that. So but I do you know who Jazz O was? Yeah, though? that's his mentor. His the innovator. Yeah, yeah. The one who gave him the flow. I never really listened to him. The better Jay Z, fan, you think he sound like Chris and Lee? Uh, I mean, like with any artist, it's like those were. Like, oh, guys in the label. Yeah, but it's like with him though, like we be in the studio so much, like, I rub off on him, he rub off on me. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's like a chemistry, you know what I'm saying? You Petey put that mixture. Pretty, you put that boy in to rub off, he could have yeah. rubbed off on somebody like Biggie Siegel or somebody. But if you in the studio with your artist, you're trying to help him create art, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna rub off on you. You know what I'm saying? You got three chances of sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I feel like as an artist, sometimes people will be rubbing off on too many people because I listen to a lot of old school artists yeah. and that's why some of these rappers I listen to them I'm like yeah you you are all right. you innovated it but on the real this ain't your shit you know what I'm saying like, <laughs> this ain't, this ain't your shit you know what I'm saying <laughs> it's just like anybody can do whatever now it's like the, the game just changed you know back then you it's couldn't, that nigga you couldn't rap like, like yeah somebody get that like man you sound just like me you're still in my style you know, like they'll they'll go at you hard. Now it's like it's just so easy to make music. There's so many outlets. I like get tired though. I don't but, know who I'm listening like, to. Like, it's like me. I'm, I'm <laughs> stuck. When I was growing up, like I kind of caught that era when it was coming out from Tupac and Biggie, and then it was transitioning yes. into the new music. So like I was always like stuck on old school music. Like to yeah. this day. I can yeah. ride and like listen to an old school song, and sometimes I go back farther and, to see where the same, came, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but it's like. With them, everybody had their own style. Yeah, straight up. So like, that's how I feel. Like I gotta be like, I gotta have my own style. I gotta be me. Yeah. I can't. I can't be. I can't be Drake. I can't be Migos. I can't be. Yeah, you gotta have your own brand. Speaking of Migos, I heard a song on the radio. That shit was so 
too much. What, I took out. Motor I don't know sport? what it was. It was <laughs> bumping and bumping. <laughs> and bumping. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was like, bro, I don't even know what they okay. say no more. That's that jam, man. They like, at least cold, man. Neptune's back. I can't do that. Hey, so who was you? Who you come up off of, uh, Trevor? Uh, who was you listening to in the household? Like, who, who, um, what rap was influenced? Man, to be honest, with, where rap? The, to be honest with you, growing up, my family actually really didn't let us listen to hip hop. Right. Then when we got into the car, my mom, like my mom, was like the biggest. Hey, so elaborate on that. Elaborate on that. Like, right. I hear that. My, you was my you was mom was like, Tupac. my mom was like the <laughs> biggest. Too. I mean, she had a nose ring. <laughs> and all that, you know, so it was like when we get in two far, when we get in the car, she'll like turn on the underground station and we'll listen to all the underground stations. Cause I remember from like earlier that day, it'd be like 102 jams and then late night, it'd be like underground. Okay. And you know what I'm saying? And um, basically when I went, when, when I was with my dad alone, like he wouldn't let us listen to rap. Like we grew up off um. Um, Lenny Williams. Okay. I've been through that. Um, but Lenny Williams is better than rap. Sir Sir Charles Jones. Um Sir Charles. Sir Charles. Yeah, but that's um, how all rules and shit. That's Luther, 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 Luther Van Draws. So he was feeding you the jewels. Yeah, he was while you was getting the other jewels. And, and that's why I ain't gonna that's lie. Go I it. think that's why I got a lot of game with the females. We ain't gonna go there. <laughs> 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 But um, you know, it was mostly Tupac, and Tupac like kept it real. Like when I was like in like my worst times, or like my worst struggles, like when my mom ended up disappearing and stuff like that. Like I, Tupac can relate yeah, he and, said and, those and things, talk right? about yeah. everything. And it's like he spoke a vision before it even came into existence. Man. You get what Real I'm shit. saying? That's Real that shit. Gemini power. I'm trying to tell Real you, we'll be talking so. in the future. We don't talk for the shit now. We'll be like this for so 20 years. This is the Valentine's Day edition. That. I got one. He was one. talking for 20 years. He was talking to this generation now. That's why we'd be like, damn. Like, I feel like he was just talking to He was to talking me. to all generations. I mean, he was talking to all generations, but the situation Probably. he was talking about for like governmental shit. Mm -hmm. He was talking about what we were going to experience now because he saw that coming. Just because his people was the Black Panthers, they was telling him like, bro, mm -hmm. this is what's about to come. Mm -hmm. And Tupac was really trying to do that. Mm -hmm. He was trying, that's what he was putting in his music. That, like, that was this whole point. He went to school. He knew that mm -hmm. music influence. So he was like, bro, I'm, I'm going to put this in my art form, in my music. And he made, he engulfed himself into the, um, into the streets more. Because he was going to an art school, yeah, you know what I'm saying? School, yeah. So he was talking to us now. That's why we like we listen to him now. We're like, yeah. damn, like he talking about what I'm going through right now. This is crazy. But that's like a lot of artists in Atlanta. So that's that's where I feel like we lack in Orlando. A lot of big name artists in Atlanta went to popular mm -hmm. music schools, like three three thousand, uh, hundred three thousand. He went to. Uh, Future, some other artists, they went to schools for music. That's why they so good. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I went, I went to music. That's why they keep it yeah. going yeah. like that. I you can work with. I was doing dance, everything. Yeah. I, I know how to do everything. Yeah. 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 If you could work with anybody tomorrow, who would it be? You first. Who tomorrow? If I work with anybody. Uh, Dead or alive? Man. i make it even harder. I'm going to have to go with. Dr. Dre, it might sound Dr. Dre, yeah, it's not cliche. How much with Dre? Um, I would go with Dre, and also I would go with like Timberland because he's like Justin yeah. Timberlake. Ooh. Nah, not yeah. Tim. Well, Timberland. Timberland. No, Timberland. Yeah. But I said artist though. The master behind. So you want, yeah, so you want Drake to rap on your beat? Well, if I can go any artist right now, dead or alive, rapper or any artist. Any artist. It could be Steven Tyler. Man, I gotta go with Michael Jackson, but you know that's mm, a whole other yeah. story. How about you? Yeah. Uh, it, it's Luther Vandross, but he's Ooh. still, he's not alive. Ooh, 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 ooh. He wore a lot of wool on him. <laughs> well, Luther, <laughs> man, Luther was so bad, they said man, Luther did man. one tape. Now, you can back then back then on them tapes. One tape. You right. Anybody y'all want to shout out, man? Oh, man, I'm shout out the whole clique, CBMG, free all my dogs, man, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to, you know what I'm saying, the whole hood, four city, you know what I'm Where can we find that music at? You know, you can find it on Instagram or YouTube, CBMG Trigger. And you can also find on HQ that, that dude on Instagram and also everything. Find, like everything. Really, that all platforms. I ain't need to cut you off. Shit, just shout out. Shout out. I want to give a shout out to Cass. I want to give a shout out to my producer, you know, HQ, slash my partner and the artist that's on most of my music. So y'all check them out, HQ, that dude. I want to give a shout out to Eric. She's over there in the cut. Okay. You know what I'm saying? She made good music. She had my back 100 from day one since yeah. I met her. Um, also, I want to give a shout out to Cash. 
you know, free my dog. I want to give a shout out to Big Money. I want to give a shout out to Bojo. He'll be getting out soon. And YG, man, free him. And can't forget about Nate. That's why, we, that's why my dog made that song shake, man. All the good men. to it and tune in. Come home. <laughs> it's the Valentine's Day special, y'all. For the culture, we out. <laughs>